Hi everyone, so I'm sure a lot of you have been suffering through some inconveniences during this coronavirus pandemic. A lot of people are stuck inside, out of work, a lot of businesses have closed down. It's still hard to find toilet paper for some reason. But you know what's annoyed me most of all during this pandemic? Idiots! Complete morons! Uh, whenever there's political or public health issues like this, uh, just conspiracy theorists come out of the woodwork, and I've seen a lot of people claiming that this coronavirus is a hoax, it's a government conspiracy, this virus was created in a lab w with lizard interdimensional aliens, crap like that, and I don't even have to look far to find these people. Uh, they happen to be friends of mine on Facebook. And uh, the person we're going to talk about today, I'm not going to uh, give out his name, I think that's inappropriate, but I'll give you a hint. Uh, his, his first name begins with the letter J, so we'll just give him the code name Jackass because that's what he is. And uh, this jackass made a post on Facebook saying, If y'all think this is a virus and not a test of mass population control, you're all idiots. Well, jackass, maybe before calling anyone stupid, you should check your spelling and grammar to make sure your sentences even make any amount of sense. So all of these conspiracy theorists are just obsessed with mass population control. Everything just comes back to mass population control. If you ask any of these people, well, that doesn't make sense. Why would the government do that? They'll just tell you, oh, uh, uh, mass population control. So let's explore that idea. Why would the government have to make this virus in a secret weapons lab to test mass population control when these sorts of deadly viral outbreaks and pandemics have been happening on a regular basis all throughout history. Uh, the swine flu in 2009, that killed 200,000 people. Hong Kong flu in 1968, that killed 1 million people. Asian flu in 1957, that killed over 1 million people. The Spanish flu in 1918, that killed 50 million people. And we can go back all the way, all the way back into the 14th century with the bubonic plague. That killed 200 million people, and what's interesting is, all of those viral outbreaks that I just mentioned, all of those pandemics, they all originated from China. So weird. These viral outbreaks have been happening all throughout human history. Many of these diseases originated in China. So why would we expect that this is this coronavirus, it's this secret government lab conspiracy thing when the same exact thing has happened all throughout history, all the way back to the 14th freaking century? Doesn't make sense now, does it? And of course, there is absolutely no evidence that this coronavirus was made in some kind of weapons lab. All of the evidence indicates that it just mutated naturally and it was spread from bats to humans. And it doesn't even make sense that the government would want to reduce the population at this point in time. Uh, in the US, the fertility rate is way below replacement rates, and China has a similar problem, especially since they instituted the one-child-per-family policy. They've been having a massive population decline, and they've actually been trying to get people to reproduce more, have more babies. They've gotten rid of that one-child-per-family policy now. So both governments, China and the US, have an interest not to reduce the population to increase fertility rates. So why would they release some sort of deadly virus to control the population? None of this makes any sense from any perspective. And after I explained all of this to our friend Jackass here, here's what he said back to me. You must be a liberal. Well, you must be so stupid that you cannot produce your own unique thoughts, so you just copy Ben Shapiro. Why don't you just say that you're on the left? Uh, is this so hard for you? Why can't you just be honest? <laughs> Mr. Seriously, Shapiro, I, it's a serious question. Mr. Shapiro, if you only knew how ridiculous that statement is, you wouldn't have said it. Yeah, so these conspiracy theorists, they tend to be pretty low on the IQ spectrum, but uh, they're at least smart enough to know that the evidence isn't on their side. So they just rely on personal attacks and insults in place of evidence. And usually these personal attacks, they revolve around just accusing you of being liberal or left-wing, even though, you know, I'm not even liberal or left-wing. Um, and what's kind of funny here, too, is that they're basically admitting that anyone who's left on the political spectrum is smarter than they are, since 
Apparently, only leftists uh, can provide evidence for their claims. So I just uh, kept pressing these people in this Facebook thread for evidence for their claims. They're claiming that the coronavirus is some sort of government conspiracy for population control and uh, the virus didn't emerge from, you know, bats. It wasn't transferred from bats to humans. It was made in some laboratory. Well, uh, then some random woman chimed in. Uh, again, I'm not going to give away full names, but her name did begin with M. So I guess we'll give her the code name Moron. And she said, from a bat? <laughs> People still believe that? Well, uh, there are research papers dating back 13 years ago uh, going over the risk of bats transferring coronavirus to humans. Uh, so this paper was from 2007. It's titled Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus as an Emerging and Reemerging Infection. And in the paper, the authors state, the presence of a large reservoir of SARS coronavirus-like viruses in horseshoe bats together with the culture of eating exotic mammals in southern China, is a time bomb. So this issue has been known of for a very long time, for over a decade. Scientists have been warning about this issue of coronavirus in bats, and chances are, eventually, given enough time, uh, some sort of strain of coronavirus is going to be transferred from bats to humans. And it's not like this is the first time a deadly disease has been transferred from bats to humans. The recent Ebola outbreak in 2014 that killed over 11,000 people, that was caused from humans consuming bats. So why are you trying to make it sound ridiculous as if, oh, it's impossible for a bat to spread a disease to a human? You're just stupid. All of you people are just stupid. So then our friend Jackass responded to this by saying, Buddy, you're always playing the victim on YouTube on all social. Shut the fuck up already, okay? Back your fucking words up with evidence. Yeah, you're telling me. And not government bullshit either. Well, that's the operative word, isn't it? Uh, government bullshit. So you can just make up whatever stupid claims you want, and we're just all supposed to believe you, even though you don't provide any evidence for your claims. But when I provide evidence for my claims, Oh, well, it's all government bullshit, and anything coming from the government, it's bullshit. The government can't be trusted. They're liars, right? Uh, well, no, I, the government is more trustworthy than this jackass. I, and I happen to know this for a fact, so, uh, this jackass, we know each other in real life. We used to train at the same gym together, and we were friends. Uh, we didn't hang out uh, with each other, like, outside the gym, but we were good friends at the gym. And while I was working as a photographer, I actually offered to do a photo shoot for this jackass. Here's some of the photos. I'm going to blur the face out, you know, so his identity isn't given away. But, um, yeah, I gave him really good, high-quality, professional photos uh, because he said he wanted to kind of do fitness modeling. I knew he didn't have uh, much money at the time, so... As a friend, as a nice guy, I just offered to do a free photo shoot for him. And then this is how this jackass treats me after all that. So you know he's a real jackass. Uh, but anyway, I know him well enough. And I know that he's had some money issues here and there. And he's borrowed money from people. And he's promised to pay them back eventually. But then when the, ki the, when the time comes to pay them back, he, instead of paying them back, he refuses and he's actually given some people violent threats when they ask for their money back. So, uh, shit, I accidentally said his name. I'm going to have to blur that, blur that out. But anyway, um, when the government owes me money and I file my tax return, I know the government's going to give me my money back. Uh, they're not going to refuse, they're not going to harass me, give me violent threats, come up with excuses. They're going to give me my money back that they owe me. Uh, you, on the other hand, jackass, when people uh, lend you money, you don't give it back and you just threaten them because you're a dishonest liar. So you're the last person to claim that you can't trust the government. Everything they say is bullshit uh, when, no, everything you say is bullshit. So those are some of the dumbest conspiracy theories I've heard about the coronavirus. The fact is that these zoonotic diseases, they're incredibly common and all throughout human history. These large pandemics are because of our close contact with animals, because we hunt and trap animals, because we farm them, um, we get their diseases. So the only real way to prevent this sort of thing from happening is to stop eating animals, go vegan. If we lived in a vegan world, this uh, coronavirus outbreak and many other outbreaks just wouldn't have happened. 
So uh, tell me in the comments section some of the dumbest uh, conspiracy theories and just crap you've heard about the coronavirus. Tell me in the comments section down below. And if you like this video, maybe consider supporting me on Patreon or, or through my website. I have some funding perks you may find interesting. If you're looking for clothing, then check out the Vegan Gains store. And if you're looking for online coaching, then check out Quality Gains. He offers customized meal and training programs. And if you click the link down below, you can get a free ebook. And as always, keep making those vegan gains.